North Bay North Stars is a team of uh, children and adults that have intellectual disabilities, so uh, designated special needs hockey team. Um, two teams, A and a B team, ranging in age from uh, 10, I think our oldest right now is in their 50s, so really uh, anybody can join the team, it's just we split them up by ability, not by age. 36 on the team right now. The team has been together since 2007. I started it in 2007 as I was looking for a place for my son to play hockey. He always wanted to be a goalie and regular hockey wasn't working out for him. The grant that we're receiving from the Community Foundation, which is gonna help us pay for our ice next year. I would say that the ice is probably our biggest uh, expenditure. So we take the group to a tournament every year. The tournament is a really big expense and we fundraise to cover the cost of the tournament for everybody on the team, including their parents, bus, hotel, everything. Nobody, we don't leave anybody behind for financial reasons. So if we can't take everybody to a tournament, we won't go. So by getting this grant from the foundation to help us cover our ice, we can put all our fundraising efforts next year into our tournament in Peterborough. And so we're, we're very, very appreciative that we were chosen. Um, we're delighted, we're thrilled, and it really helps us out a lot that we can focus our fundraising on the best tournament possible for next year. Seattle is a not-for-profit organization started by families that's existed in North Bay for going into our eighth year. What we do is provide service to adults uh, with developmental or physical disabilities who are no longer able to attend school due to their age and wish to continue to participate in an environment that will account for their needs and their interests. We're very thankful to the North Bay Community Foundation for the support that they've given to us over the years. The amount of thought and care that has gone into what they've done for this community, not just for us, but for everyone, it is beyond compare. This year, what we're gonna be able to do with our funds is purchase uh, five iPads, five cases, Apple TV, um, all the technology that is so beneficial to people who um, have differentiated learning needs. Without groups like yours that work hard to make sure that our community has what they need, our group wouldn't exist. So thank you. Thank you. So the warming center has been open three years, uh, three winters now, and uh, when the temperatures reach what would be considered a dangerous uh, temperature level, so minus 20, minus 30, then we open and we open between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. The Community Foundation was wonderful to give us uh, the money for it, and we're very excited, and we're excited to be able to provide this service to our, uh, our folks who are, who are uh, traditionally um, overlooked and certainly marginalized. The daily living kits, um, socks and some food and maybe a bottle of water because it's important during the winter that they that they continue to rehydrate even though you know it's cold and snowy they still need to rehydrate so there's usually water in there and uh, pudding and things like that the applesauce juice box granola bar things like that but it's also hygiene stuff uh, women's feminine project uh, products uh, deodorants toothbrush toothpaste things like that and there's also um, some band-aids bandages Kleenex and things that they may need to do some basic first aid. Military Family Resource Center and our Military Families want to thank the Community Foundation for the grant to replace our community computers. It's going to be a big help to our families and to our center and we're very appreciative so thanks to the Community Foundation. Anytime throughout the year we have a lot of traffic into our center to use the computers and it's going to be great to upgrade them because uh, the ones we have now we've had them for about five plus years and they're just not in the, the best of shape, so it's going to be great to get them updated for our families to use. We're excited to hear about the funds that have been received for the purchase of a couple of new computers for the MFRC. I know personally many people, friends and acquaintances who use the computers at the MFRC on a regular basis and it's definitely a valuable resource that does get taken advantage of. So it's exciting to know that we're going to be catching up with the times and nice to know that that resource is there whenever we need it. Thank you very much. The symphony started a program for education in the schools many years ago 
and with the help of the foundation uh, now we can expand it and we can do a program that will roll out over the next year for grades one to six and it'll be about the elements of music something that's common across the grades. I'm so happy to have the symphony in and the support of the foundation to allow that to happen my kids love having the exposure to music. Seeing the smiles on their faces is wonderful and having them gain some knowledge about music and some love of music is excellent as well. started in the 1980s and food banks popped up across North America as a temporary measure for people who were struggling and people are always needing the food bank because different things happen. People uh, lose their jobs unexpectedly and many of us don't have that nice um, nest that people like to build up to, you know, so that you're safe if something were to happen and it, people live day to day nowadays and, and week to week with their paychecks so it's really difficult to have that. They have to make their rent, they have to make their groceries and they don't have enough sometimes for groceries so coming into the food bank and having that opportunity really helps them to get through their month a little bit better. Capital Centre has been around since 1929 and over the past 20 years we've done so many things to try and be inclusive and putting together a children's festival is just an absolutely wonderful dream come true because it's a chance to provide uh, educational and entertaining opportunities for the wee folk and we're focusing on two to six years and still make sure that they have a delightful time learning and playing. Huge thank you once again to the North Bay and Area Community Foundation for supporting us here at One Kids Place, this time through the Joint Volunteer Program which is a great venture uh, and great partnership between the Children's Aid Society of Nipissing and Pear Sound one Kids Place, Nipissing Association for Disabled Youth, or NADI, uh, Autism Ontario, uh, Plays, and our five local pediatricians. So an amazing program that is supported uh, through the, the North Bay Area Community Foundation. With the joint volunteer program, I've done sibling care at One Kids Place while the siblings were in rehab or your parents are doing sessions of, and workshops. I've also worked with Family Enrichment Program and there I worked with the toddlers and we did daily classroom activities and I've also worked with Children's Aid Society and I did daycare with them so while their parents did workshops and seminars. Last year alone over 200 volunteers volunteered over 5700 hours towards the number of services that we provide uh, through the Joint Volunteer Program. So an amazing difference that these volunteers are making for the children, youth and families that we all serve. Operation uh, Legacy Project Scramble was a uh, joint uh, initiative launched by 21 Squadron North Bay as part of their uh, legacy to uh, lead with the community. And it is a scholarship program designed for the children of the uh, members of 21 Squadron or those in the military uh, whose uh, parent has made the ultimate sacrifice on active duty since 2002. This scholarship helps uh, students from CFB North Bay. We will raise up to $250,000 combined donations from uh, people of North Bay, donors, uh, sponsors, golf tournament players, and also the Community Foundation uh, supporting us too. So we really thank them for their support and we hope to see everyone out for the last scramble this year on June 27th.